Hey guys, Technimentary with a video for you guys to review the iPhone XR in 2020 and should you buy the iPhone XR in 2020? As you can see, I have here the space gray edition or the black edition of the iPhone XR here. This one comes in multiple colors. You can get it in blue, blue red, white, yellow. Uh, red you can't get it in the gold though that's the other thing about this phone or the silver edition so those aren't available and this phone came out in september 2018 actually october 2018 the excess came out in september and you'll notice right off the bat it has a 6.1 display which is much bigger than any of the other standard iphone uh, sizes for the regular size this does not have the max so it doesn't have a bigger display size this is the biggest you're going to get if you're looking at the xr series also to note about this phone is that it does only have a single rear camera compared to some of the newer phones which has dual camera which doesn't really matter much if you're looking to take regular pictures and videos you're not going to notice much difference the only time you're going to notice the difference is if you're doing a lot of shooting and you need to zoom a lot so in 2020 right if you're using looking for this phone to do basic calling and texting you know this is a phenomenal phone even for browsing you know all of this stuff is pretty fluent without really any issue even on a decent wi-fi or cellular device you're not going to have any issue and if you use it for light use you can pretty much go throughout the whole day without having the battery drained out that's the one thing about this phone it is has a really good battery compared to some of the older iphones it has around 2900 mah which is a lot for a uh, smartphone especially for apple because they usually tend to have smaller battery capacity so if you're looking for basic phone to get you throughout the day definitely the iphone xr is your go-to phone also if you're looking for other stuff such as gaming i did some reviews on playing PUBG and some of the graphic heavy games this phone does really do a fantastic job for gaming and loading of the graphics you're not going to notice any issues whenever you're playing any of these heavier get graphic heavy games and if you're not a game if you do light gaming such as you know games like subway surfer you'll notice that the graphic itself is fluid although you know it does only have a lcd compared to the oled display that most smartphones nowadays have your, your basic you know app such as you know social media ones reddit whatnot you know loads up really fast you know you're not going to experience any issues with it because this is a powerful device and like with any of the other iphones out there you know you're able to get this phone now for a really good deal deal and as you can see i'm going on clicking on some of the stuff even for YouTube. It loads up really fast. Not really you know, any issues with it whatsoever. I'm able to load up. And because it has a 6.1 inch display, you know, graphics on it is fantastic for watching movies or anything like that. You're not gonna run into issues whatsoever for such things. Or and if you're using like social media, it's like like TikTok, you know, look at this, you know, it's just without even any issues, you're able to get and look at this phone, really does a fantastic job. If you do music streaming, does an amazing job as well. So to answer your question, should you get the iPhone XR in 2020? Definitely. And you can get this phone for around four or $500 right now on eBay or Amazon you know, half the, almost, you know, even to a degree, um, like 70, 80% off the original price. And this phone does hold up really well. So hopefully this video was helpful. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section. And also thumbs up for this video if you guys thought this video was helpful. Thanks for watching, guys.